Hello, my name is Adam Ford, and today we're going to make samples for Gargi Knox India on our SEMT welder. This is our SEMT welder today, and we're making sample welds. I want to make sure that everyone knows it's very important to cut the procedure on the wire is very important for good welding. And this is our shear, and this is how we cut our wire. Very important that we have square ends. This is the welder head. This is your anneal unit. This gauge tells you your voltage, which is your heat of your weld. This gauge here will tell you the temperature of your annealing if you have to, if you anneal. We're going to make a weld. First, we have our on and off button. We're going to turn our machine on, our lamp. First thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust our weld heat. For this particular size of wire, we're going to adjust our potentiometer up to 15 volts. We're going to adjust our open space. This, by adjusting this knob, our dies are moving further apart from each other, and that gives us a space in the center to make our weld. We're now going to place our wire in the second groove put our other wire in and they should meet right in the center of the open space. Now we're going to make our weld by rotating our open space knob down to push our operating switch. Weld has been made. If you choose to anneal your weld, put it up here in our annealing unit, between the surfaces here, and this is our anneal button. We'll jog this as we watch our meter go up. For this particular wire, we're going to jog this up to 1300 degrees. And we're jogging this button just so that we don't heat it up too quickly. It gives a chance to, for the heat to go through the wire. There we are, 1300 degrees. And we're going to let it cool back down to 100 degrees before we remove it. Now we're removing our wire from our anneal unit and we have an annealed weld.